My name is Mikey, and this is the Regulator Sports Show with a horrible background, and everything's awful. So, I have not done this show in forever, it feels like, and uh, I don't have a lot of topics. Well, I have a lot of topics, but I don't know. I need to pick up somewhere, so I'm just going to recap everything pretty much that's happened. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to talk about the standings and everything and then my predictions and stuff like that. My, my start of the season predictions. I did my before season uh, predictions. You guys can go see that in the playlist of this. Uh, links in the description. Uh, there's a lot of new of you. A lot of new of you. New of you. I don't know what I'm saying. There's a lot of new uh, subscribers. So a lot of you guys have not seen this show. If you guys didn't go back and watch my previous videos just because I haven't kept up with this one the way I should have so <laughs> so uh, excuse the background uh, no, my walls were blue I had to paint them white again and then I ran out of paint and uh, so it just looks really bad so yeah anyways we'll start off with the uh, NBA because uh, it's easier to talk about then we can get into more with the football because football is winding down and getting closer to playoffs and stuff like that I can go in more depth with that because basketball just started, so there's a little bit to talk about and all that. So, <clears throat> we'll start with the East Conference. Uh, you know, we got, um, who's number one in the East? That would be the Raptors. The Raptors? Yeah, the Raptors are number one. They lost last night to the Lakers. Um... That was a great game by Kobe, you know, 31 points, 12 rebounds, 11 assists, or 11 rebounds, I don't know how much he had exactly, great game by Kobe, um, Raptors just have bad luck against Kobe, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we've got the Raptors 13-4, and uh, Wizards 10-5, and five. Uh, my Bulls are 11-6, and six. Uh, you know, you got the Bucks actually doing pretty good, 10-8, and eight. Uh, Cleveland's 8-7, and seven. Cleveland's off to a horrible... Horrible start, but not the baddest of starts. Because they are a new team, you know, new people involved. Oh, God, I'm hitting myself. Uh, you know, just new, new, new people. And a lot of, not a lot of experience uh, with winning with some people. So it's just, it's how, it's how it is. Okay? It's how it is. All right? Jeez. Ah. I've not done this forever, guys. All right. Concept. Think about the words you're speaking, Mike. Just think it. All right. Anyways, um, you know, so basketball in the East, you know, typically, you know, just right now, it's just the Raptors, Wizards, the Wizards at 10 and 5, uh, and the Bulls, and yeah, I think those are the main threats, you know, Raptors, Bulls, Wizards, uh, and Cleveland, I guess. Miami's doing pretty good, too, I believe. They're 9 and 7. Uh, so, you know, all I can say right now about the East is that the Raptors are on a roll. They lost last night, but that's fine. Uh, Wizards are coming. Bradley Bill being back on the floor with them all. A adding veteranship with uh, Paul Pierce is great for them. And John Wall is explosive. And uh, Marcin Gortat is playing great. Nene is amazing. Uh, you know, So the Wizards are a great team, too. So I think it's going to come down to the Raptors, Bulls, and Wizards for the top three. Uh, maybe Cleveland too, if they can get it together. They started, they've like on a four game winning streak now, so they're getting it together. So that's what I gotta say about the East. Other than that, the East, you know, is just quiet. You know, the Knicks are doing horrible. Don't even really want to say anything about that. Uh, yeah, so, and the Magic are like hit and miss. Like they're good, but they're, they suck too, so I don't know. But that's what I think. So playoffs, when playoffs come around, I think the Bulls will probably be number one seed. Biased, yes. But I do think they will be. If not them, then the Raptors or the Wizards will be number one. Well, Cleveland's definitely not going to be number one no matter what. Uh, but they, I think they can pick it up and have a good, you know, 50, 20, 50, 50 something wins. You know, maybe 56 wins, 26 losses. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe 40 wins. Who knows? Um, but yeah. Uh, the West, the best team, I think it is the Grizzlies and the Warriors. Yeah. All right. So the Grizzlies are 15 and 2, the Warriors are 14 and 2. You got the Blazers at 13 and 4. Um, you know, you also have the Rockets with 13 and 4. Spurs are 12 and 4. Uh, the Mavericks are actually doing really good at 13 and 5. And, uh, you know, we got the Clippers at 11 and 5. And the Suns are another team that's doing pretty good, 10 and 8. And then you got the Lakers, who are awful, 4 and 13. 
all uh, 3-0 and against the East, but you know only won one game against the West, and the rest of them have been lost. So you know, the Lakers definitely got to pick it up. I don't see them making the playoffs this year. Uh, I didn't have them in my preseason uh, predictions, and so far, you know, they're not doing anything special. So made uh, MFJ look like an idiot. Uh, if you guys know him, he's the one that was on the show before, uh, but he's been missing. Just kidding, no, he's just been busy. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, what I see here is I I don't feel like the Grizzlies are going to keep it up. I think they're off to a Portland Trail Blazers start like last year. But the play, Blazers, you know, just playing great and then not ended up ending up not finishing number one. Uh, also, Oklahoma is also doing pretty bad, five and twelve. But West, Westbrook's back now, and Durant's coming back soon. And I do think that Thunder can turn around. You know, they already lost twelve, but but you know, I can still see them going winning fifty games. You know, at least fifty. You know, going fifty thirty two. I still I can see that happening. Uh, then you know, but with the with the West, I do feel like I have. I think the Spurs are definitely, uh, you know, one of those teams that you just can't uh, count out. I think that they'll probably be number one, number two. I think Dallas will be up there. I feel like Warriors are definitely going to be up there. If they can work on their turnovers, if Curry can work on his turnovers, the team overall can work on their turnovers, I feel like uh, the Warriors are going to be a great they're going to be a great team this season. Uh, the Clippers, I don't know. They're, they're iffy, and uh, I don't think they have a solid starting group. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens with that. Uh, but the Warriors are definitely a good team. I think Grizzlies are still a great team. They're going to make the, you know, probably top four. But uh, I don't know if, I don't think they'll finish number one like they're at now. Uh, and Blazers are going to be there too. So that's what I think about the basketball stuff and all that. And then later on, when I get the show going again, I'll find a better way of talking about each individual. Like I'll do two shows a week, NBA, football, all that, and I'll have more in depth, like you know, talk about stats and stuff like that. So, uh, those are just my predictions so far. You know, I feel you know, there's not really predictions, just you know, saying who I think is going to end up number one, number two, number three, and stuff like that, and uh, who's going to keep going and who's not going to keep going. I don't think the Memphis will keep on this streak, and uh, I think the Bulls are going to pick things up. Uh, Derrick Rose, don't he just needs to play. That's all. That's his problem. He just needs to play. He needs to get it out of his head. You know, he just needs to go out there and work. So, uh, then you know, let's transfer over to football. Uh, my team, the Patriots. You know, we're number one, I believe, in the AFC. Uh, I think we are. We're tied with the Broncos, but we do have the tiebreaker because we did beat them. So, hopefully, uh, you know, we can get that home court advantage. Not court, but you know what I mean. Home field advantage. Uh, right now, Patriots are nine and three. Then right behind us, we have the Bills in our division that are seven and five. Dolphins six and five, and Jets two and nine. So not really worried about those three. We do have a game coming up against the Jets. I don't know if it's next week, but it's sometime soon, and that should be an easy game. Even though people think that we're going to struggle against them, I don't know why. Rex Ryan's not. Oh, I just don't get it. Uh, and then you know we got the Bengals in the AFC North. Uh, they're eight and three. Uh, the Ravens are seven and five. Steelers seven five. Browns seven five. I can definitely see the Steelers coming up if uh, Ben Roethlisberger can get his head out of his ass and uh, start throwing better. Uh, you know, I think last uh, on Sunday, I think their leading receiver, I, I should have been Antonio Brown, but I feel like I think it was Le- Le'Veon Bell. Le- 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 yeah, Le'Veon Bell or Le'Veon Bell. Yeah, Le'Veon. I think it was him. Plus, he's a rusher, so. I'm not sure. I think Le'Veon had like 159 yards uh, receiving and like 80 something yards, 90 something yards rushing. So he had a great game. Le'Veon's been saving them lately. He's just gonna do enough against uh, the Saints. But I could definitely see the Steelers moving up. The Bengals are. I'm surprised they're eight and three to be honest. Uh, I haven't heard much about them. So, um, but they're doing pretty good, I guess. So, and then in the AFC West, we got Broncos nine and three, uh, Chargers eight and four. Chiefs seven and five, and the Raiders one and one and eleven. They they won one more than I thought they would. So uh, and that was like a playoff game for them. And the way they acted, it was like they won the Super Bowl when they won that one game. It was it was kind of special. It was special. Uh, anyways, um, I could see the Chargers. You know, Phil Rivers is a definitely underrated quarterback. I feel like he just hasn't always had the weapons, but he's a decent ass quarterback. I think he's really good. So. Uh, if Broncos slip up in the last few games, uh, I can see the Chargers passing them. 
Uh, probably. But either way, I think the Chargers are making the playoffs, even whether they win or not. I think they're going to be a wild card for sure. Um, and, the, and the Chiefs, too. The Chiefs, too, but who knows. And then uh, in the AFC South, we got the Colts. Andrew Luck's balling this year. He is playing out of his mind. Then we got the Texans at 6-6. Six and six. Uh, Titans, 2-10. and 10. Jaguars, 2-10. and 10. Titans and Jaguars, they're not even a question. Uh, Texans, they were my pick for a wild card. So... I'm still thinking they can do it. Uh, J.J. Watt's been playing out of his mind, defensively, offensively. You know, this dude can do it all. Uh, you know, he's a he's a great player for the Texans, and if they can finish out the season with just keep winning, you know, if they don't lose, and Fitzpatrick had a great game Sunday, I think six touchdowns uh, thrown. Uh, so yeah, I think you know they had a great game, and then the Colts uh, they're definitely going to win the division because Andrew Luck is just kind of amazing kind of amazing he's been having he's been slow starts I th i've been noticing that the last two games he's had a slow start you know he was he threw a couple interceptions in the last two games in the very start of the games and a couple fumbles i think um but then he just finishes the game so strong like you don't even remember the the bad stuff he did so um the colts are definitely a good team there uh, and uh i think the texans are definitely going to be a wild card so I think, you know, obviously the Colts are going to come out their division. Broncos are going to come out their division unless they slip up and then the Chargers can pass them. Uh, but then I got the Broncos winning their division, though. The Bengals are going to win their division, and but I can see Steelers coming up uh, and passing them. Maybe the Ravens, too. Uh, but I definitely see the Steelers doing that. Uh, and then, obviously, the Patriots are definitely going to come out of, my, uh, of their division. And then the wild cards out of the AFC, I feel... Oh, man. Uh, Texans and... Uh, I'm going to go with the Texans and the Steelers. I think the Texans and Steelers. Uh, yeah, I'm going with the Texans Steelers. Uh, I think those will be the teams uh, that are going to come out of the wild card battle. So, now we got the NFC. The NFC, you know, we got the NFC South's horrible division. Uh, you know, got the Falcons 5-7, and seven, Saints 5-7. and seven. Panthers three and eight, Buccaneers two and ten. That's a butt freaking division. That's horrible. All right, I'm not even gonna talk about them. Uh, NFC North, you know, you got the Packers coming out of their division. Definitely, I believe. Uh, you got the Lions eight and four, who do have a good chance. Uh, the Bears five and seven, and the Vikings five and seven. And I don't see them doing much either. So yeah, I definitely have the Packers coming out of there. Lions maybe, but the Packers. Depending on what their schedule is like, I don't know their schedule. Uh, if they have a lot, if they have more away games at home, then maybe the Lions can come away with it because the Calvin's finally getting into his mode. Matt Stafford is not making many mistakes. Um, you know they're looking like a good team, and Golden Tate's there too. So you know it's it's a good team. So maybe you never know. And their defense is the number one defense in the in the NFL. So you never know. Uh, and then we got the Eagles. In the NFC East, number one, nine and three. Cowboys eight and four. Giants three and nine. Redskins three and nine. Uh, I see the Cowboys barely. I guess I can see the Cowboys beating the Eagles out for the number one spot, but I'm not sure. It depends on how Romo acts, how Demarco runs, and all that stuff. And if the Eagles stay going with Mark Sanchez and all that, and Sanchez is not making many mistakes and stuff like that, you never know. That one's a toss up there. We'll see. And then in the NFC West, you got the Cardinals and the Seahawks and the Niners and the Rams. And I definitely see the Seahawks passing the Cardinals for the number one spot. Uh, Seahawks finally got back on their roll now. And the Cardinals just have been playing really bad uh, the last two weeks. So um, I'm going to go with Seahawks winning that division. And the two wild cards, um, I'm going to say... Uh, whether if Seahawks beat out Cardinals, uh, then I'll say the Cardinals will be a, a, a wild card. And a, but if they don't, then I'll say the Seahawks will be a wild card there. And then another one. There's two of them. I have two in mind. But then you know who knows what will happen. I either have the Cowboys being a wild card or the Lions being a wild card. Uh, so that's what I got there. So yeah, I did it. And did a sports show, regular sports show, back. Okay. Um, yeah, you know, it's been a while. 
Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed all this. Leave your comments about all sports related stuff. You know, what's, I like to talk uh, about all this stuff. I could be wrong about things. If you think I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. And all that. Thank you guys for all your support. So as of late, uh, you know, we're at fluctuating from like 116 to 114 subscribers going back and forth. And right now I think it's 114, but in a second it'll be back up to 116. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, you win some, you lose some. I don't really care. Uh, it's just crazy. I, I have 114 more than I thought I'd get. So thank you guys so much. And, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, do all that fun stuff, and comment for real. Who's your favorite football team? Who's your favorite basketball team? And who do you guys see winning the Super Bowl? My Super Bowl pick is Patriots versus the Green Bay Packers. Packers. The Packers. Uh, <laughs> Green Bay. Packers versus the New England Patriots, and I have my Patriots winning that one. I'll say, I don't know, I'll, I'll say 41, no, 42, 42 to 31, no, no, 44 to 30, 44 to 30, I say we win 44 to 30, Super Bowl, that's what it is, Patriots, Packers, 44 to 30. That's my guess. You guys let me know your guesses uh, and all that. And of course, uh, let me know who question of the day for these ones, uh, sports related. Uh, who is your guys' favorite football player? Your favorite football player? Mine's Tom Brady. Mine's Tom Brady. So uh, you guys let me know who you guys' favorite football player is in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Whenever that will be. I don't know. But there's going to be some pack openings coming tomorrow. And uh, some Madden gameplay and stuff like that. Some challenges and all that. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. I can never end these videos right. Just... See. Hit. I hit it. Oh. Okay, guys.